Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Firewall again. Today we are going to see how you we can work on a security policy based plan and make our life easy. Uh, my purpose is to show you what are the options available here on this security policy plan which you can utilize to make your life easy while doing the administrative work on firewall rule base we all know on our day-to-day -day life the policy installation the rule based configuration is plays very critical uh, uh, very crucial role so understanding these options are very important so let's begin so as you can see on my screen there are a lot of options here on this security area plane so why we use and uh, why we have these options here so i explain one by one so let's begin with uh one of the important options which is here if you see these three dots let me mark for you these three dots these are the important three dots i would say so if you just click to these three dots, you will see these options. And here, the one option which I have highlighted is very useful for you know our day-to-day -day life. So action. What does action do? If you come here, there is something called go to rule. When you know uh we do the policy installation before that we do the policy verification sometimes what happens you know you get an error message stating that rule for example x is conflicting rule y and if you have say 2000 rules for example so going to rule x directly is you know headache you have to you know go to each and every rule one by one and then you need to reach this rule or for example this rule but it's easy now you directly use this option go to rule this one and you have to just specify the rule number here and you can directly reach to that rule okay how i just show you let me clear the screen so here for example i wanted to go to rule number eight here i'm just putting it and when i say okay this will highlight you the rule number eight or it will directly go to that rule number eight if you see here right this makes your life very easy i believe so because i've been through the administrative work and i know how useful it is right now you are just saying okay i'm just showing you how to go to the rules but people don't know these options because of that they do the manual work they just you know do the scrolling everywhere and you know to add to reach that rule which takes a lot of times so of their whatever the daily work this is the one of the important option available here. Now, if you again click to these three dots, you will see the options like install the policy, edit the policy, actions, where you have verified the policies, uh, history, what you have delivered so far, implied rules, you know then expand all sections collapse all section what this does if i say expand all sections i will see all the sections like this but i want to collapse them i will click collapse and you will see only the section titles right now next thing this three lines parallel lines if you click to the parallel lines you will see whatever these sections you have configured. For example, let me click here, see these sections. Whatever sections you have configured, 
and how many rules are there okay so vpn section it has three rules uh, access to internet section it has a four five rules likewise so if i want to directly reach to this section i just come here and click here it will take me to this section and you will you know uh walk whatever you want to do from this section so this option is very useful then there is something called add rule you can add rule above or below as it shows this is a below this is the above right very useful again one of the important thing which you must understand if you have a facility just i want to click this option you have a facility to see whatever the work you have delivered on the policy base with this history there is something called history if i say if i select this rule and i go to the history it gives me whatever the things i have performed over here with this particular rule if i click to the logs it will give me logs how the things happening in terms of the logs which packets are hitting what's going on on this rule everything you can see from this logs if you click to the details it gives you details like you know what is the source destination what is the applications where it installed on what things we have configured on this rule if you do this to, uh, if you click to details and there's something called summary it will gives you you know who created this rule this is very important you know sometimes we don't know who created this rule whether it's an admin or some individual user or whosoever i have access what date this rule is get created you know and what is the hit count generally we are in earlier version this hit count is available here before the rule but now it's here so people are thinking like where the hit count where the tech uh, checkpoint took it out no it's not there it's here if you see if you want to see how many packets fits to this rule you can see from here and what is the you know, nature of this rule okay you will understand from here right so i think this is very crucial understanding you need to have when you do the you know a basic uh, checkpoint troubleshooting of the rules or working on the you know uh, rules like that stuff uh, again there are a lot of lot of options you know you can have if you uh, you know filter out more and more on these policies uh, using the command line i will show you that part later but you know you don't have to go to the blades from you know so blades like logs or you know uh management to see the details everything is available here on the console itself so that is the you know uh, beauty of this smart dashboard and if you as i, I explain you again earlier also what i like to explain you this is also your friend if you see this search bar so if you want to search a particular rules or anything like that you can search it from here right you don't have to go anywhere else uh, to look for the rules so you just have to come here and you know search whatever you want to search you know uh, in my previous video i have explained what is the purpose of this packet mode just uh, go ahead and watch that uh, video that uh, what is the purpose of this packet mode and you know how we can utilize this packet mode for the uh, you know uh, troubleshooting of the rules and understanding you know where the packet is hidden very important options so using this search token you can you know uh, look for uh, different things as well uh, there's something here uh, you can do the filtering and of course uh, a useful area where you configure the rule this is your friend as well this uh, object bar so generally this is a shortcut available so for this rule you can create an object from the rule itself or you want to you know directly 
go ahead and create a objects you can use this area or you can you know utilize uh, uh, this area to look for the objects and everything so guys uh, this is it for this video i hope this video uh, is informative for you and if you like this video please like the video uh, using the uh, whatever option available here and subscribe my channel and share this video to the person who required understanding on the checkpoint so guys thanks for watching my video and have a good day